kind of like you're wearing swimming flippers outside of walking down the street. It just feels awkward, but you can't really take them off, I guess. Little by little, the Danny that we knew and loved started disappearing from our lives. He became um, very enclosed in his room and he was sleeping a lot and you just could tell that he was not happy. We tried to help by sending him to a therapist and we sat with her and she said that Danny is a trans. Okay, gay. And she said, no, it's trans, it's totally different. There's a difference between a gender and sexual orientation. And this is where kind of, we looked at each other and we said, um, we have some homework to do. I don't have this ability to be effortlessly a, a girl. It feels like, you know, I'm trying to do the right thing, but I'm just, I'm just doing it completely wrong, and that's kind of what it's like trying to be the gender that you're not. So we started joining Danny on his journey, getting a short haircut and changing the way he dresses and expressing a little bit more masculine kind of traits. And we saw that with every step like this, he became more and more himself. My decision to come out as trans didn't really change much. Changed my hair, changed my clothing style. I had essentially the same personality, minus the fact that I changed as a human being, just naturally. I was just a lot more confident and happier with who I am as a person. So I think it was two or three weeks after he came out and I was driving him to art school and just, you know, merging into a highway, accelerating. And then he said, Dad, I think I want to start testosterone. And I'm like, is this the best time to tell me about it? Up until now, getting a new haircut, changing the way you dress, uh, changing the pronouns, that was something that Let's say, I don't know, a couple of years down the road, Danny decides that was not the real answer. You can reverse that. But once you start getting testosterone, there is a way back, but kind of a narrower path back. Are you sure about your decision? What if it's a phase? That's why coming out was so hard for me, just because even I wasn't sure that it was a phase. But my gender identity just seemed to be there all of my life. It's not as if something new that just came up. It's always just been there under the surface. Gender is actually expressed along a spectrum. For instance, there might be a boy who wants to wear a dress, but he still identifies as being a boy. That's very different than kids that feel like they're born into the wrong body. And, you know, from a very young age, really persist with that throughout the years. We ask um, the child and the family to talk with a therapist and help the child identify and know uh, what it means to transition. Once it seems that it is appropriate, then depending on the age of the child, we might recommend some hormones that would best match the child's identified gender. Until now, it's kind of dress up and with testosterone it really gives Danny the opportunity to manifest himself as a boy and pass as a boy which is very important for him as a male. The one thing that I'm filled with happiness about is that now I can see Danny living up to his full potential authentically in his own masculine skin. It's a journey, and it's going to take time, and there's a few big steps along the way. We are going to do it together as a family and support him, and we'll see what the future holds. This is a very significant day. It takes a lot of courage to do what you're doing. And I'm signing the decree changing name at this time, and congratulations to you. When they've made the transition, oftentimes these young adults are happy for the first time because the gender in which they've always identified with finally matches them when they look at themselves in the mirror.
Because someone gets gender affirming therapy, it changes how they feel inside, but it doesn't change how the world's going to treat them. From being allowed to use the bathroom in which they identify to allowing the children to participate in physical education. We're going to need to work a lot harder to help these kids be who they are. I am definitely a lot happier knowing that I'm on the path already to make these changes and um, within, you know, a few years, I'll already be who I want to be. Even my fellow men are strangers to me, and the heavens, they will always be my friend. I turn my face up and I feel...